GNS3 custom symbols allows you to change the look and feel of your GNS3 topologies. So you can change the look and feel from something like this, the traditional GNS3 symbols and topology layout, to something that looks like this. Much nicer, much cleaner, much more modern network topology. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use GNS3 custom symbols and change the look and feel of your GNS3 topologies. In this example, I'm using GNS3 on a Windows computer. I am using the GNS3 VM, but that doesn't really affect what we're gonna do here. By default, when I drag a router into the GNS3 topology on Windows, it looks like that. A switch, as an example, looks like this. A hub, as an example, looks like this. Now, you can change the look and feel of GNS3 by going to Edit Preferences and changing the style, for example, to Charcoal, clicking Apply. Notice the style looks like this. Change it to Legacy, click Apply, looks like this. So as an example, notice the icons here are different, but the routers still look the same. But the GNS3 look and feel has changed. So Edit Preferences allows you, as an example, to set it to use Classic. But the symbols here are perhaps not that nice. We may want to use, as an example, the Affinity Symbol Set, which is a fantastic set of symbols available on GitHub. This gives you a simple, modern-looking network topology, and as the author says here, doesn't look like it was made in the 80s. So we want to change our network topology to look like this as an example. So to do that in GNS3, go to Edit, Preferences, and take note of this, My Symbols. That's where the custom symbols can be stored in GNS3. Now I've downloaded custom symbols already, but if you wanna download your own symbols, go to the URL, and I'll put this URL below this video. Select the SVG option. I'm gonna select a circle here. I'm gonna go for a blue icon in this example, and I'm gonna search for router. Open this in a new tab. I'm gonna right click and click Save As, and I'm gonna simply put that into the directory specified by GNS3. So again, go to Edit, Preferences. This is the directory you wanna store your symbols in. And in this example, I'll call this Router New blue and click Save. In GNS3, all you need to do now is right click on the device and click Change Symbol. And then you can change it to the symbol that you've downloaded. So Router New Blue, click OK. Notice that's the new symbol. Could make this smaller as an example or bigger depending on what you wanna do. To change another router, right click on it, click change symbol. You can search here, for example, for router, new, blue, click OK. And notice that router has now been changed as well. Let's get a switch icon, but in this example, I'm gonna get a square icon. Search for switch. So this is the one I want. It's also a multi-layer switch, but in this example, I'll simply take a, a layer two switch. Save the image as, notice it's an SVG image, switch layer two blue. Click save. And while I'm here, I'll get the multi-layer switch. So save that as switch layer three blue. 
back in GNS3, on the first switch as an example, change symbol. The one I want to use here is switch layer to blue. Click OK, that's now been applied. Now I've got a hub here, but let's duplicate the switch. So I'll duplicate that switch. And then what I'll do here is change the symbol to switch layer three blue. And there you go, I've got a layer three blue switch. Same thing with a hub. So let's go back to SVG square. Let's take a red symbol. I'll get a hub. Save that as hub red. Back in GNS3, right click, change symbol, search for hub. Let's make it a red hub in this example. So I can connect to these devices just like I would normally. All I've done is change the symbol for the device. So the devices will act as they do normally. No difference in the way that these devices act. It's simply a symbol. If that's too big, I could make it smaller. And once again, just move the devices around as I would normally in GNS3. Gonna go back to SVG. Let's choose square. And I'll choose gray in this example. Let's get a gray hub. So simply open up a tab with a SVG file. I'll save this as hub gray. And all I do is change the symbol as I like. So it's as simple as that to change symbols in GNS3 and change the look and feel of your topology. Now one that you might like, especially if you're doing Kali Linux hacking, is the skull option. So this is blue, but you could obviously once again get the gray version. But let's say you had a PC in your topology Kali Linux or another PC, rather than using these old symbols, right click, change symbol, and I'll change that to skull and click OK. So there's my hacking device that's now part of the GNS3 topology. Again, these are just different icons. It's still a GNS3 topology. You can manipulate the devices in your topology as you would do normally. It's just the look of the icons that has changed. So only the look and feel has changed. It's still a device just like any other device. So I could power this device on as an example and open up a console and there you go. There's my VPCS device. Okay, so it's as simple as that to change symbols in GNS3. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wanna wish you all the very best.